where do we begin? It's been a couple of years since we've uh, we've had a, a catalyst release. It so, has been a few yeah. years, yeah. I think uh, the last catalyst release was 2011 from memory. And uh, I've actually been toying with the idea of, of creating another alias for uh, some of the work I've been doing uh, more recently. So it might be a while until there's uh, actually a Catalyst release. I'm, I'm in two minds about that at the moment. So Catalyst has been working uh, a lot with the Stone's Throw guys. Uh, I've done an album called Quakers, which came out in... Which I've spotted over here. There it is, yeah. <laughs> 2012, sort of March 2012, that came out. Uh, really well received. Yeah, look, it was it was a it was a big project, mm. um, and I was honoured to work with uh, Jeff Barrow from Porter's Head, who we were talking about earlier off air, um, and he's a good friend as well as a highly regarded colleague. So it was nice to to complete that and get it out because it sort of took a few years to put together because uh, most of the people we we sort of found via the internet. Mm. Um, and you know, left it up to them to record themselves and that sort of thing. So that was uh, really well received in Europe, especially. I mean, we got uh, a lot of props over there, so I'm just working on the next one now, actually. Um, again, another 30 MCs and you know, around about 30-odd beats, and uh, <laughs> we'll be looking to, to get that out early next year via Stone's Throw and, and hopefully get over to Europe with uh, a tour this time and, and uh, do a run of shows with maybe six, seven, eight uh, of the of the MC crew. So that'll be a lot of fun. It's, it's got to be challenging to, to manage that many MCs, that many samples, that many beats, and, and bringing it all together for, for one release. Yeah, it, it is. It's it's a challenge, but uh, I kind of enjoy it at the same time, and, and it's nice working with a whole host of different people, um, you know, uh, who don't necessarily know each other, have never worked together. Um, and... Uh, you know, being at the helm of that, I mean, I mix it all here and and whatnot, but this one's come together a lot faster than the last one. I think, you know, as you say, the last one was re well received and uh, it's been a lot easier to drum up MCs for this record. So we're sitting here in your home studio and, you know, how much of what we hear from you gets recorded in a place like this? Yeah, this is pretty much the, the heart of it all. I mean, most of the things I do, another thing I do is a, a thing called Space Invaders with Steve Spacex. So, um, you know, we get together and, and uh, record all of that here. All the vocals are done here. Um, as I mentioned off air, the, um, the Guilty uh, Fat Cat track on Quakers, you know, was recorded here. And um, it's, uh, it's a pretty good little environment, although I would like to move to a bigger premises where I can make a bit more noise. Apart from the uh, the neighbours, there is a noise floor, <laughs> so yeah, I don't I don't I don't get too raucous in the uh, mixing my bottom end here. Have to um, take it to a bigger studio and check a bit of that stuff out. But essentially, you know, this is the heart and soul of Catalyst. Fantastic. Hmm. So I guess bring us bring us up to date on um, on what you're working on at the moment. Uh, yeah, well, I've just been working with Guilty on uh, on a project for uh, Stone's Throw, which sort of hasn't been announced yet, so I can't really go into too many details, but uh, we've been working for probably the last couple of years. After the last Quakers record, I headed over to Europe for about five months and based myself in Berlin, so just took a bit of time out. and um, A lot of Australians seem to flock to Berlin. Yeah, I think it was <laughs> the, uh, the cheapness and the availability of just you know, using that as a... As a as a base for five months. I did a lot of traveling um, outside of Germany and, and mm. Berlin and uh, went and did some random shows. Um, I wasn't really over there to gig, but when I got offered exotic locations, uh, I went over to Russia and played in Siberia and played in Moscow, which was uh, an awesome experience. Mm. And I you know, got to go to Switzerland and a few other places I hadn't been. But uh, since then, since coming back to good old uh, sunny Sydney, I've sort of been l laying low on the on the gigging sort of side of things and, and working on the next Quakers record, uh, the record with Guilty, and um, a couple of other little projects that I'll sort of uh, release uh, probably you know next year now that this year's already in the seventh month pretty much <laughs> yes. um, and another Space Invaders record with Steve we've pretty much finished that as well so oh fantastic mm. it's, been, it's been a while since we've heard one of them as well yeah I think that was uh, maybe 2010 I mm. think that record so yeah Steve's been busy with his various projects Africa High Tech and uh, he's got a solo release coming out on Ninja Tune 
in the next few months that you'll hear more about as that um, starts to unfold. But uh, yeah, the Space Invaders is something we both enjoy doing and um, he's an awesome cat to work with as well.